Welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we have an unboxing of Soviet Dawn, the Russian Civil War. Now this is a, I don't know if it's a direct reprinting, uh, I believe it may be a slight reworking even of uh, the original Soviet Dawn. Uh, this is a solo only war game. Uh, very excited about that. Uh, it's from Worthington Games, which as I mentioned in my American Revolution unboxing, I'm excited to start seeing some of the stuff that they offer because I've been really wanting to get more into war games. Uh, Shores of Tripoli kind of whet, whet my appetite for that. And uh, so Worthington definitely has a lot to offer in the realm of war games. So we are going to get into this box, see what comes with Soviet Dawn. But before we do, I'll mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a fantastic website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. They have a great selection to choose from. If you're just looking to build out your collection, just trying to uh, you know, fill in some gaps in your collection. Maybe you're missing a particular genre. Maybe you're missing a, a particular game that you just really want to get your hands on. Board Game Co. probably can help you out with that. They also will buy games from you. If you're looking to sell some games, don't sell 10 games to 10 different people. Sell 10 games to one person. That way you're shipping them to one place. Makes it very easy to get rid of your games that way and get some money in your pocket. Then, of course, they have a trade feature. If you are uh, a member of Board Game Geek and you have set up a trade list over there, you then can take your Board Game Geek username, drop it into Board Game Co., and then they will compare your trade list with their stock and build a custom trade list right there on their website. It makes it very easy to facilitate a trade. You can click on the link in the description below so they know I sent you over there. Board Game Co. makes it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. One last thing before we get into the unboxing, I want to mention a giveaway that we currently have going on. If you click on this video in the top right corner of your screen, that's our top 15 most played games of the past year. We're giving away seven different packages. Six of them are game packages, and then we have a gift card as well to a game store. Lots of good stuff going on there. Be sure to check that video out and get involved in that giveaway. Now let's get down to the table. We're going to unbox Soviet Dawn. All right, here we go. Soviet Dawn, the Russian Civil War, 1918-1921, Deluxe Edition. A solitaire game by Darren Leveloff, published by Worthington. A little bit back here. Uh, game complexity, just one notch above low, so a, a 2 out of 5. And solitaire suitability, 5 out of 5. One player, age is 14 plus, victory within an hour. Soviet Dawn Deluxe Edition brings Darren Levelov's game system back for a much larger storytelling adventure covering the Russian Civil War from 1918 to 1921. With several enemy fronts converging on Moscow, the fate of the revolution and the prestige of international communism rests on your ability to manage and resolve every crisis that they can assail you with. As the headlines unfold, you draw upon military and political resources to help you or try to reorganize the Red Army for special abilities that can greatly enhance your position. Who knows, you might even capture the Imperial Gold Reserve. Can you deal with great crises of, with great crises of time that... Uh, wait. Can you deal with the great crisis of that time and defend the revolution? Will you withdraw from the Great War, World War I, or exercise the Bukharin option and fight on? Can you execute the Tsar in time, or will the Whites rescue him? Will you fortify Petrograd or oppress your offensive home? How will you deal with internal and external dissent? Play Soviet Dawn and see. All right, so here we go. Got the rules right on top here. Here we go. Rules start uh, pretty much right away here on page two. Pretty thick rule book. But if you look here, so player actions is 7.0. And then here we start with Red Army marker explanations. So let's see if there's any. Oh, well, no. Okay. Never mind. Uh, it goes on now to a whole another section, political dissent. There's, there's victory and defeat on page eight here. 
page nine, still victory and defeat. Okay, and then here, this is what I was looking for. 10.0 starts with the elaborations. Um, so this is where it goes in deep on the different uh, uh, like components and everything. But theoretically, those first 10 pages cover everything you need to know to play the game. And then this is where you can kind of look up some specifics. Some expansion rules, optional expansion rules. Scenarios. Strategy. Oh, okay. Got a whole strategy section here. And it looks like some actual historical stuff here as well. Starting here, how the Bolshevik Revolution survived. The Civil War begins. Okay. All right, and then here we've got Soviet Dawn Revolution results. So this is, I guess, a score pad, basically. All right, and then we've got some chits here to punch out. Actually, let's get, let's get the board out here real quick. So on here, I always like seeing you've got different tables and stuff, uh, you know, to help remember how things work. Sequence of play down here. Political descent table, Red Army reorganization. Got a die, lots of storage. Got some stands here. So we have these cards, all kinds of stuff here. But obviously, I've got no idea what it is. Finnish leader Mannerheim emerges. No war, no peace proclaimed. General Kornilov killed leading attack. German back to coup in Ukraine. White Guard takes ice march to Cuban. Ottoman seize caucuses. Revolt of left socialist revolutionaries. U.S. launches polar bear expedition. What is that? In response to requests from France, Britain, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson sent 5,000 American troops to northern Russia in September 1918. These troops would emerge with Soviet forces and remain in the region until recalled July 1919. Well, I'm sorry, would engage with Soviet forces. Ukrainian directory struggles. German... Frank Corps turns on Estonia. Makhno leads anarchist revolt. Trotsky leads red. Saves Petrograd. Trotsky introduces political commissars. Bulak Balachowicz assists Poles. Poles breakthrough in counteroffensive. All right. And then, of course, the punch board. This stuff is punching right out without much of an issue at all. Not feeling anything hang up. Oh, well, there's a little bit of a hang up there, but it didn't tear. So that's the most important part. Okay. So there you go. That's everything that comes in the box. So there you go. That's everything that comes in the box for Soviet Dawn. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Be sure to get involved in that giveaway. Come back and watch the gameplay of Soviet Dawn. And until next time, for Board Online, Board Offline.